you should see a new um, item available for you, okay? Creating a tracker program, um, ANC registry, okay? So if I open this up, okay, um, it tells you which files are included for the assignment um, and what you have to do, okay? So this registry is a little bit different than the one we worked on yesterday, okay? Just so you can kind of start from scratch. This registry is also the one that is configured in the demo system, all right? So if you want to view um, kind of the configuration, what it looks like when it's completed, okay, go on, you can go into tracker capture and kind of have a look at things. Okay. Once again, a luxury we don't normally have, but in this instance, it might help you to kind of understand, you know, um, whether the things you're setting up are kind of looking correct. All right. So there's hopefully enough assistance and guidance along the way. Um, this is not meant to trick you in any way at all. Okay. Um, so um, when looking at this assignment, we have these three files here. The first um, assignment, the, the PDF file. Okay, this is kind of a description of the assignment, and I'll, I'll also describe it in more detail. Okay, we have the um, ANC register, which is the actual data collection tool. And then we have our familiar, at this point, design worksheet, okay? The Excel sheet where we fill in um, all of our information. Okay, so I'll just open all these up. Okay, so let's have a look here um, at the assignment itself, okay? So this is just a bit of a description about what we're asking you to do, right? Improve access to antenatal care data in particular, okay? Um, so we're going. it's just going to basically ask you to walk through all the steps we performed up until now, right? So following the step-by-step -step process of filling in the kind of requirements um, for this and then setting it up inside of DHIS2. So if we look at the uh, where am I? I'll just open up the registry. Okay. Okay. So we have a bit of a simplified program here um, for you to use to create. Okay, just to get you kind of um, in the sense or kind of um, in the mode of creating these programs from beginning to end, okay? So we have um, this program here and we're going to ask you to kind of start at that design phase first, okay? So we have our worksheet, it is um, empty, okay? But you're going to have to fill it in. You have, oh, you have a couple um, examples now to draw upon, right? We gave you the integrated um, ANC uh, delivery PNC registry you have the TV details as well. So you have a couple examples um, that you can look at, okay? And you can add additional components to this um, in order to fill it in. Um, but you, you know, you, you're, we're basically asking you to do the same type of thing here, right? Look at the um, data collection tool and think about what are the tracked, ent uh, tracked entity ent attributes? What are the program stages? What are the data elements? Do any of the data elements have option sets? Okay, how much you divide this into sections? Okay, so same type of thing as we've been working on the past couple of days, all right? And then if I go back to the instructions, okay? So these are the basic steps, you know, that are, it's the same as our presentation, same as what's in the learner's guide, okay? Um, same type of thing we've been reinforcing over the past couple of days, okay? Um, one thing, and I see many of you have done it already, right? It's also in the learner's guide. Use these kind of just initials um, because everyone's working in the same system just to make it unique. Once again, you wouldn't do this in a live system, right? There's no need to put your initials in front of any metadata, okay? So when you go back and if you want to try something on a, a, a development system, for example, you don't need to do that in, uh, in your own setting, okay? Just for this exercise, just for this assignment, all right? So then we walk through uh, what metadata you can reuse, okay? Um, because there is some metadata available in that configuration system, for example, you know you used some of it for the TB treatment program, right? And, and we kind of emphasized if something is there already, there's no need to recreate it, okay? So um, if I have a look uh, at this though, um, and, and you go through and identify this, so we haven't told you what it is exactly that you're creating, but um, you, you kind of have to identify that, but we're just identifying these components that you can reuse, okay? So for the option sets, any of the option sets you identify, go through and create them, okay? None of them are, are made um, on that configuration system for you. Um, so, because uh, you're not using something like sex, for example, right? It's an antenatal care program. So 
everyone enrolled is, is a female. So there's no differentiation there. So some of those kind of reusable elements that we would often see maybe in other programs, maybe it's not always present here. Okay. For the attributes, there are several attributes that you can reuse. Okay. So you should know by now uh, how to navigate to the tracked entity attribute page and view the list of existing attributes. Okay. So some here that we could reuse, um, you know, they're listed here for you. Any other attribute that you identify, please, re, uh, please create it. Okay. And use your initials in order to do so. And when you go to make your program, add the attribute that you created or attributes. Okay. For the data elements, okay, there are a couple data elements that are already there, okay, in the same spirit of reusing things, especially for tracker programs, because the, the data gets tied to the, the program plus the, the, you know, plus the stage, plus the event, plus the pro, uh, kind of data element, right? So there's a lot of layers there. So you can reuse these data elements across, you know, different event and tracker programs. So even if I made a, a weight data element for an event program, you know, I could reuse it in my tracker programs, for example. Okay, so same principle of reuse here. Find those data elements that are already existing. You don't need to recreate those, okay? Any other data elements that you find, you will need to create those. If they have option sets attached to those, okay? Make sure to create those option sets and attach those option sets to the data element that you have created, okay? For the program itself, okay? Um, create the program using your initials. Right? I see many of you have done that already with the TB program. So we're just following the same procedure as we went through our ungraded exercise, right? Um, and you would have noticed several times, there's like two options to save your settings. So for example, if I'm editing the program details, I save it once and then I'm kind of at the program management screen and I save it again, okay? So as a, pra as a good practice, you know, like if I'm creating the program stages, for example, and I create one stage, you know, save, click on that save button twice, right? Click on that blue button twice to make sure you save the configuration Then open the program up again and then add in another stage, for example. It's just good practice so you don't lose your work, okay? Um, if you just click on the save button once and kind of don't do it again, you know, the, the changes won't be kind of fully applied. You might open it up again and see something hasn't changed that you expected to, okay? So whenever you're working through something, just save, click on that save button twice, okay? Um, and that'll help you along to do things in a more stepwise approach and save all your work as you progress um, through the various components um, of the assignments. All right. Okay, so for the program stages, okay, um, I, I'm asking you to create the stages and then also create sections. I haven't told you outright what, what, what the sections are um, because this can vary once again, as I mentioned. In, in many cases, there's no right or wrong way to section them, okay? It's completely dependent on the workflow. Um, that you identify, um, but then take those, um, take that information, okay, that you add to your different program stages, all the data elements, and then create a section-based form for them, right? So we went over that yesterday, where we're able to add sections, add our data elements to the sections, and then we click on that save button twice within the program stage itself to apply our changes, all right? And then you have to perform what we just covered again today, the review, right? And assign the program to your organization units, just assign them to any organization units that you would like, okay? As long as you remember where it's assigned so you can access it in tracker capture, okay? Um, and then apply the sharing settings, all right? So same sharing settings as we applied today, right? Set, set public access to none for both metadata and data and select edit and view access to your user for metadata and capture and view for data, all right? And we'll, we'll talk about the sharing settings more, I saw. There were some questions about you know the different stages and what what, what uh, how that works. So we'll cover that uh, a bit more uh, later on. Okay, but for today, um, for today's exercises, to the, the assignment, just apply the same settings as you apply for the team program. All right. So then the checklist at the bottom. Okay, you've identified and created your option sets. You've created any extra attributes if you needed to. You've created your data element types. Um, you know, I don't say anything about the tracked entity type because we already talked about that, right? It's already available in the system. Um, you're tracking a person, okay? So I'm going to give away that one, but you don't need to recreate that tracked entity type. Just use the one that's existing, okay? But then the other information that you do need to create, please make it, all right? Um, add your data elements um, to a data element group, uh, okay? Just generally, that's a good practice to, to do, um, both for maintenance, well, mainly for maintenance so that deals with tracker programs. 
can't really use them so much in analysis um, at the moment, but uh, hopefully in the future. So, uh, and then follow the stepwise approach to creating your program, right? So we create the program, fill in the details, fill in the enrollment details, add our stages. If there's any scheduling, we add it in. If there's not, don't worry about it. Okay, we might not know necessarily when people are coming and then we don't have to have any scheduling component. Then assign the program to your organization units and apply your sharing settings. All right. And then once you've gone through all of that, you're ready to kind of navigate to your program. And once again, as I mentioned, you can kind of these, these uh, steps five and six, you can move around a little bit, right? So if I create a program stage and I just kind of want to see what it looks like before I create the next one, you know, I can assign some access settings to it, to the program, I mean, and then go to tracker capture and see, well, does my the first stage I made, does it look right? Right. And then I can go back and then my access settings would have been applied already. I can add more stages and then go back to tracker capture as I kind of progressively build the program and just check things out and make sure it's working. So you don't have to create everything before you check necessarily. You can kind of do it stepwise. Uh, you can kind of follow a nonlinear approach and go back and forth and check if things are working the way you had intended. OK. So. Um, once you've done that, enter some data, right? Register a mother, review your program and program stages. Just make sure everything is working correctly, right? And you can compare this to the demo system, all right? So in that demo system, we went over it briefly, but I'll just pull it up again. So if you go to the demo system and you go to tracker capture, it's kind of messed up. Close this and start it again, just so you can see where to access the program. Okay, so if you go to that demo system and you just select any of the organization units at the facility level, you have the antenatal care program there. Okay. So you can review it. You can, you know, add somebody, you can see what it looks like. You can open an existing record and, and just review the different, uh, different stuff that's available. Okay. And see how it's laid out. Okay. So if you want to kind of contrast this and just kind of get a better sense of where things are, um, especially because we're all just learning right now. Okay. Um, you have a reference. Okay. So if something kind of looks a bit off when you go to check it in your system, um, the one that you made, you can always kind of come here and check it out as reference and kind of see, well, okay, maybe I can move this around and, and see if that, this will work. Okay. Um, all right. And then for the submission, all right. So in the, in the Moodle, okay, you, you will have to upload some details. Okay. Um, so you will have an option to upload information for your assignment. And what I've asked you to do is from tr tracker capture. Okay. Take a screenshot of the registration page um, and, um, and then each of the program stages that you would make um, as part of your program. Um, place these screenshots into a Word document and then upload that. Uh, uh, and then upload this document uh, to Moodle. Okay. So just, you know, it doesn't have to be Word if you have something like Open Office. Or, you know, whatever you use on, on Mac or, you know, whatever document uh, system you use, it's fine. Okay, just uh, um, upload it on Moodle and we'll be able to uh, look at it, okay? But take screenshots of these various components, the registration page um, with your attributes displayed, each of the program stages with, you know, your data elements and maybe opening up some of your option sets displayed, just so we can kind of get a sense of how the program you created looks like, all right? Um, so this is an individual assignment once again. So you submit it individually. Each one of you will have to create a submission um, based on the program that you make. In the screenshot, we'll be able to see the name of your program, right? So when you register, uh, make sure you uh, the, the name of your program is visible, okay? Because then we can go in and actually check the configuration uh, on the system as well. In addition to looking at the screenshots that you sent us, all right? But this, like I said, you know, this is not meant to trick you in any way. You have the full, you know. The ANC, you have an example of the, the program available in the demo system that you can refer to and see, you know, does this match with what I want to make? But we just want to kind of have you walk through this independently um, in terms of creating this program. All right. 
So the remainder of the time um, today, um, we're going to use to work on this assignment, right? So um, if there are any questions as you're going through any of the steps, um, we'll be here, okay? You can ask us on Slack. If you wanna ask us, you know, you wanna work through something, um, we're leaving the Zoom meeting open, right? So you'll be able to talk to us as well um, if you want to do it that way instead. Um, we don't have to just use chat, you know, we can share screens and things like that too. I can allow you to do that and show us something specific. All right. So um, please feel free to ask us any questions as you work through the assignment. Um, the assignment, as I mentioned, the final submission, it's not due for quite a while, right? So it's not due until um, uh, the 11th of February, right? But try to get some components of the program configured um, because, you know, if you want to apply some sharing settings or add in some indicators later on or add in some rules, you know, then you need some of this available, right? So if you don't have any of this ready for the next sessions, it's going to be kind of tough to keep up, right? Um, but the actual submission where you kind of, if you want to clean it up or something, it's not due until um, um, uh, the 11th of February, okay? Yeah, so I don't know the exact number of days. I guess it's more than, yeah, 15 days or, or whatever. Yeah, so you have some time because all the assignments uh, for the course, um, we're, we're allowing some time to actually submit them, okay? But as I mentioned, for this particular one, yeah, it's good if you can configure part of the program or try to configure it because, um, you know, um, the other assignments build upon this, the other graded assignments, right? So the sharing, um, we'll be looking at this program in terms of looking at sharing specific stages program indicators, we'll be making indicators from this program, program rules, we'll be applying rules, um, you know, to this program eventually. So it's good if you can have this set up, otherwise the other, other components, it'll be tough to kind of keep up, okay? So um, as you're working through this, we'll be here, we'll be available. Um, you're probably just looking through everything now, so it might take a while before some of the questions pour in, um, but uh, we're around. Um, if there are any questions about anything, um, you know, um, please let us know. I know this is not ideal in the virtual environment. Now, if some of you need to drop off too, um, some of you had asked me about that, okay, um, you know, that's fine, right? We're, we're here, you can come in and out, um, no problem, okay? So if you if you do need to, to drop off a little bit um, during this particular time, um, that's fine, okay? Um, but yeah, we'll be here anyway. So if you want to ask us on Slack or jump back in Zoom and ask us something, feel free to do so, all right? Um, as you're doing, th doing uh, working through this, so as I mentioned, if there are any questions, uh, let us know. I know this is not the ideal way to do this um, virtually like this, because we can't really, you know, be there and interact with you and kind of check out how your progress is going, but uh, um, we'll, we'll, we'll do our best, I guess, yeah. Clarify the submission for anyone who had questions about that real quick. Um, this is what it looks like for you guys, I guess, now. Um, so when you're ready to submit the assignment, okay, uh, you have everything in, a, in your Word document, okay, you can select add submission. Okay, and then you'll upload your document. Okay, you drag and drop this. So I can just, I don't know, grab some document that I have. And then I'll save, okay? And it's not submitted yet, okay? After you've uploaded it, you'll have to click on submit assignment, okay? Only then is it submitted, okay? So if there are any questions about this um, later on when you're ready to submit, um, you know, you might not have seen it now or maybe you don't remember all the steps at that point in time, we'll make sure to clarify that for you, okay? Um, but just remember, you, uh, once you've submitted it, um, you can't make any changes. You can ask us though, like to reopen it, I guess, if, if you really think you want to change something. But uh, you know, what if I upload it here and I don't submit it, right? I can always edit it. Okay. So I can edit this, I can remove it, I can modify the file. Right. So it's only when I click on this submit a second time, that's when the assignment will be submitted. All right. And you'll see what you've attached um, to your submission. Okay? And you'll see it's marked as a draft because it's not yet submitted, all right?
Yeah, so just to clarify, right, the assignment is not due until February 11th, okay? But if you just skip this entirely and don't create anything today, um, you won't be able to take part in the remainder um, of the graded assignments or you'll have a lot of trouble at least, okay? So you don't have to submit the assignment till February 11th, okay? But you need to have part of the program configured um, to kind of take part in the remainder of the sessions, all right? So you, you have a fair amount of time now during the session, about two hours, um, at least to get some of the configuration done. And then if you need to do some later on, that's fine. Um, but, but, you know, creating rules, indicators, all that other stuff, it's dependent upon you having a program available, okay? So, so please try to work through some of the assignment um, if you can today. 